Hi, I'm Gloria Pearson. I'm a transformation life coach. The video today is on five things to eliminate from your life that lower your vibration. So if you're feeling out of sorts, maybe tired, lethargic, you're having trouble motivating yourself and concentrating, then watch this video for these five ways that lower your vibration. I ask you to please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my videos. I'm here to motivate you and help you live the life that you want and that you deserve. But let's get started. Hi, this video is on five different things that lower your vibration. Now you might ask, why? What does it matter? Well, our bodies are made of energy, just like everything in our world is made of energy. So things that lower it, you're going to feel maybe more depressed, you're going to feel tired, out of sorts, maybe not motivated, maybe just a little bit depressed too. So if we can raise the vibrations, you will have more health, happiness, and your life will flow better. So I did another video on what to add into your life to raise your vibration. This is on what to eliminate. And again, if you enjoy my videos, please like and share them. I really appreciate it. So let's go over this though. The first one is junk food or processed food. And I'm not saying to completely eliminate it from your diet, but be conscious of it, especially if you're feeling down. So any junk food, processed food, well, what do you replace it with? Natural more fruits, more vegetables. If you like soda, how about trying a glass of spring water with lemon poured in it? Some fruit juices. So again, junk food and processed food have a lower vibration. So by eating them, you're putting them into your body and your vibration will lower. So just consider maybe one meal a day or one snack making a different choice. Try a fruit or vegetable. So that's number one. Number two is any jealousy, criticism, or gossip. Because when you enable these three, what you are doing, it's like a boomerang, it's gonna come right back to you. You're opening your own solar plexus up for these lower energies to come in, and you don't want that. So what do you do? Now, jealous, that's tough. Maybe somebody you know has this dress that you would just love, 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 and you're jealous that she's wearing it. So instead, redo your focus. Focus on what you want, what kind of dress you want. Take the focus off of that person and put it on yourself. Criticism, again, don't criticize anybody because what you're doing by criticizing them, you're interfering with their energy. Not only yours is being lowered, but you're interfering with them. It's hurting them. It's like running them over with a car. You wouldn't want that. So think of that image. Next time you want to criticize that it's really hurting that person's energy and you're opening up your own energy to have it lower. And then there's gossip. Not good either. But what do you do? So you're with a group of people, they're gossiping. Change the subject. Just change the subject so you're not engaging in it. So again, that's the second one. Any jealousy, criticism, or gossip is going to hurt you more than you're going to hurt them. So eliminate it. That's simple to do. The third, anger or resentment. Are you holding any anger or resentment from what somebody did to you in the past? Because then you're living in the past and that is tremendously infecting your vibration today. Now I'm not saying if somebody hurts you that you're going to condone their action. No. You don't have to do that. And I'm not saying if somebody hurt you that it was right. No, that's not it at all. But by holding on to the past, you're not having all your energy in the here and now and being mindful of it. So how do you do this? Well, it's a process. It's not overnight. But every time you think of that person, just think, I wish them well. If you believe in God, say, God, please bless them. Because what that is doing, it's putting a shield up so those bad vibes don't come back to you. Just wish them well. Don't try and hurt them. Let the laws of nature take care of it because it will. So I wish them well or God bless them. So that's the third way. The fourth is stress and anxiety. That is a huge depletion of our energy and our vibration. 
And you know, we live in a world where we're very busy and it's kind of, we take it for granted that this is just natural. It doesn't have to be. Do some things to eliminate the stress and anxiety. Make it a part of your schedule. There's tons of videos on it. I have tons of it. You can do deep breathing, yoga, meditation, exercise. Do something that channels that stress through your body and mixing up all that energy so you start dealing with it. Plan it into your schedule. That's the fourth way. Stress and anxiety will lower your vibration. The fifth thing is media and television. We're inundated with it. And there's three things I want to talk about with this. The first is because we have so much Wi-Fi and television, it's all these electromagnetic energy around that affects our energy. Now, we can't completely eliminate it because that's the world we live in. But you can decide how much you're going to watch. Now, I'm all for television. I binge watch on Netflix all the time. But consider watching maybe a little less TV and spend that time reading a book. Maybe something very uplifting, something spiritual. Again, you're eliminating one and adding something with a higher vibration. The other thing to watch with television and the media is the programming you watch. If you watch too much negative programming, it's going to affect your energy. So just be aware of that. The third is the news. I'm not saying don't read the news. I'm, I read the news daily, but I try not to engage with it. And if it's something of a really negative nature, be aware of it, but try not to take that journey. Know your boundaries. And again, with all these five things, what it is, is the awareness begins the change. Once you are aware and cognizant of it, then you will, can start putting these in just little by little. So to reiterate, the first is junk food. The second, jealousy, criticism, and gossip. The third, anger and resentment. The fourth, stress and anxiety. And the fifth, media and television. Limit these things and your energy will raise. If you enjoy my videos, please hit that subscribe button. And remember, sharing is caring. Sending you lots of love and light. Until next time.